We cannot lower a mountain, but we can elevate ourselves. Hi, I'm Melly, and today I wanted to share with you four ways to elevate yourself. Imagine your life as a mountain. The steep and hard parts are the hard parts to climb are those times that are most challenging when you find yourself struggling. And then the plateaus are the times that kind of allow us to take a break, to absorb and reflect our own accomplishments, how far we've come, and then just learn from our journey and prepare for the next <laughs> steep climb. And each time you climb and you face new challenges, you reach the top stronger, braver, and more confident. And the ultimate goal of reaching the top of this mountain is to become your best self, to enjoy living your best life, feeling happy and fulfilled with wherever you are in the moment in your life's journey and just proud of how far you've come. And I believe that in our life's journey, every step that we take has a reason. Every person we meet has a reason. Every experience uh, we experience has a reason. And we may not know the reason in the moment and at the time, but I believe that it's either to benefit us or for the benefit of others or both. <laughs> and life doesn't really work. I also believe this, that life doesn't work against us. It really just works for us. It's preparing us to reach the top of our mountain because every challenge and every struggle it might not be exactly what we want in the moment, but it definitely is what we need or what we are what we are needed for in that moment. And we always have a choice how we want to perceive, react, and respond to any given situation in our lives. And striving to reach your fullest potential at everything you do, striving to become your best self no matter what life throws at you, will lead to inner peace, uh, this sense of happiness and fulfillment in your heart. And you're going to realize that you can find joy and peace in any and everything that comes your way. So the four ways to elevate yourself, one is to create your own inner peace and joy now in this moment. So not when, not if, now. And just don't wait. There's really nothing to wait for when all we have is the present moment. And you can think, you can just pause and reflect on like, what are the things that bring you joy? What are the things that make you feel at peace right now in your life? And then begin to carve out more time to do these things. And whenever you're feeling down or sad or stressed or anxious, then you can choose one of those things. If you're sad, choose one of the things that brings you joy. If you're feeling stressed or anxious, then choose one of the things that uh, brings you peace. And that way, you'll begin to kind of shift your energy and elevate yourself. And the second way to elevate yourself is to align with what you need to function at your very best. And in order to function at our best, we need to make to pause and make time for ourselves and consistently show up for ourselves to be able to align with what it is that we need most in the moment. And ideally, we want to do this on a daily basis, especially when we're feeling emotional or maybe tired, sad, angry, or any of those other uncomfortable feelings. And I like to call this like just pausing. I like to call it the sacred pause. It only takes a moment, but its benefits are huge. That's why I call it the sacred pause. And what you do is you simply like pause and notice, become aware of what's going on in your internal world and stop and listen and truly listen. And you're going to receive the answer that you're seeking and you're going to receive what it is that you need most in that moment. And when we take care of ourselves in this way, we are happier, we're more at peace, more at ease, we have more energy, we're more focused, more driven, more passionate, and more productive, <laughs> which means that we're able to function at our very best in every area of our lives, and we're able to take better care of ourselves and then take better care of the ones we love, we're able to do our best work and become the best version of ourselves. And the third way to elevate yourself is to live in the present moment. 
I believe that we can look to the past to learn from it, to understand ourselves and understand where we come from. And then we can look to the future with hope, right? We can have a vision for our lives. We can make plans and plant our intentions and kind of use the vision that we have for our life as motivation to take action now in this moment to move forward in the direction that we most want. But we also have to learn to let go, to detach from the outcome and just kind of surrender and understand that we're going to receive and experience from life whatever it is that we need to become our best and highest self. In the present moment, if you think about it, it's really all that we truly have. You know, the past is gone and the future will always be uncertain. And it is in the present moment that we truly get to live. And I believe it's called the present for a reason. It's a gift. And the life that we've been given is a gift. So enjoy now. Be present now. And the way to really create a beautiful and good future is to create a beautiful and good present. And then the fourth way to elevate yourself is to pause and celebrate yourself as much as possible. Yes, celebrate. <laughs> and then pausing to celebrate like your achievements, even big or small, even the tiniest ones, even if it's you cleaned your house and it looks so nice. Just pause and celebrate because celebrating just gives your life and your work more meaning and more purpose. And the more we pause and celebrate, the more we will feel good physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Uh, we become more focused, more motivated. Uh, we do our best work and are able to succeed more. We build our self-confidence and resilience. We grow our own self, self <laughs> we grow our own sense of worth purpose and meaning and we get to feel happier fulfilled and successful so recap the four ways to elevate yourself one is to create your own inner peace and joy two is align with what you need to function at your very best three live in the present moment and four celebrate yourself celebrate sometimes I like to put on like a good tune and I'll do a little happy dance. <laughs> so remember that each new day comes with a bright new opportunity. So each day just strive to elevate yourself. In doing so, you're going to elevate your life and you'll elevate the lives of all those you touch. And magic happens when you take action. So do this right now. Comment below the biggest takeaway from our conversation right now and share with us your favorite way to elevate yourself. And then go ahead and sign up to receive my feel-good yoga, meditations, mindfulness practices, and conscious living resources. I send these by email every weekend and you'll also receive insights and updates that I only share via email. And you can sign up following the link below. And it's also on my Instagram profile link. And then the next thing to do is to elevate others, others around you. Maybe you can share this video with someone you know that uh, can benefit from it. Please share. And thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I will see you next weekend. Thank you so much from my heart to yours.